Denver Broncos at the Dallas Cowboys, uh, nine, nine and a half. There's a 10 even available out there. Uh, 49 and a half is your total in this one. Um, guys, not a lot to talk about here because we don't know for sure that Dak Prescott's going to play. The line indicates that he is going to play, Brad. But again, we thought he might get back out there last week, and then that was not ended up not being the case. And with all of this uncertainty, certainly a game that, you know, let's say you're still in a survivor pool. I wouldn't be willing to pull the trigger on if you're, and and I'm certainly not going to bet this early right now because the line's not going to get that much worse in, in favor of the Cowboys when he if he gets officially ruled in and it certainly is going to move the other way if he's ruled out. So for me, it's just kind of a I don't really have a ton of interest in this game until I know if one of the most valuable posi- uh, quarterbacks in the league at his position is going to play or not. Yeah, agreed. I would say just quickly, it looks to me there's a there's mismatches on both lines of scrimmage in favor of the Cowboys. Um, so Denver, it comes into this game pass rush win rate and that's with Von Miller in there right mm-hmm. so now that now he's gone there's, there's no real Ed Rusher there's no Bradley Chubb still going up against this Cowboys offensive line now let and Smith um but again there that that line is, is as equipped as any in the league to to just plug in another another tackle there they've got Ty and Shecky lying about um so I think they'll dominate that that line of scrimmage and then on the other side, the the Broncos look like they could be missing their left tackle, Garrett Bowles, um, and you know Cowboys come in with with a good pass rush, ninth in the NFL in in win rate there. So um, yeah, I think they they should dominate this game, uh, presuming Dak plays. Yeah, Stephen, that's kind of my thoughts here. It's like it, it's like everything points towards the Cowboys if Dak plays, but as we sit right now, there's there's just no guarantee on that, and I think that it's probably not the best practice to to bet with something like this when, uh, you know, again, he could get out there and, and on practice on Friday, tweak that calf again, and then now you're sitting there with a, a horrible number in your account when there really wasn't no, any necess- need to really do that. I mean, this is this is America's team in terms of sports betting too, right? The Cowboys are 7-0 yeah. against the spread this year, and I think the market is finally starting to catch up, right? Because I, this is a crazy big number. 10.5 is a lot of points in an NFL game, and we've typically seen it with teams like the Jaguars or the Jets against the Colts. And now they're putting the Broncos in this category, which to me says more about just the respect that they have for the Cowboys. So I can't bet Dallas at this point as such a heavy favorite, but obviously it wouldn't shock me if in the range of outcomes, we see a two touchdown win here. Mm -hmm. So on the, to me, it would be take the points or nothing, but here's the other thing I'll just say about Dak Prescott and having, you know, some experience of being in an NFL locker room and and seeing some injuries. And this particular injury with Dak Prescott, the calf injury, you know, you heard Chris Collinsworth on Sunday Night Football say he went through his pregame warmup and he looked fantastic. And in most any other player's situation, he would have been playing in that game. So the question is, why didn't he play? With these calf injuries in particular, Teams are extremely cautious with them because even if you are still feeling mostly okay, it has a higher risk of more severe injury than usual. These calf injuries, if you're not careful, can lead to a tear of the Achilles, and that's what teams fear. So I think that's why they held him out despite him looking good in practice, looking good in pregame warm-ups. So um, just monitor it closely if you are somebody who wants to bet on the Cowboys and just make damn well sure that he is actually playing because I don't think this is a situation where he needs to look good in practice or pregame. I think this is like... Uh, an MRI type situation to make sure that calf is fully healed because they're not going to take any risks with the potential of a, of an aggravated Achilles here on top of it. If they're not careful.